I'm, I'm not trying to sort of like p- point blame here or anything like that, but like this match happened. Cobra Jones hits you with a vertebraker. Uh, and, and like I said, turns your world upside down. Yo, yeah. w- what was going through your mind? Like, like laying there because like I saw the footage and I saw the photos following that uh, of you laying there. And I told you before this, bro, like my heart broke for you because regardless of promotions and all that bullshit, it's like, you know I mean? You're still a human being involved in something that we all love. Right. So you're, you're still, you're still in this thing that we are all involved in and that we all love. So regardless of all that other, like, nonsensical shit it comes down to a human level and and i think it hits a hit a lot of people bro like i'll be i'll be real with you um but how were you feeling like what was going through your mind in that moment after that happened like after it happened i was was absolutely shitting myself like i i I knew that there was something wrong like i felt the crack i heard it and like the instant pain I knew I was like, this isn't good. Mm. Um, the first thing I did was like close my hands just like that, just to make sure that I could still, still move. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wiggled my feet a bit just to make sure I was like, okay, so I've still got movement. I've still got feeling All right. That's, that's a positive. Um, like I, if you, if you watch the clip, you'll notice I've already said something to him straight away because the way he covers me, it was mm. very, very soft and like he, you can see him sort of grab my head and try and stabilize me a bit when he done it. So, you, kn- you know, he probably felt bad pretty straight away mm. knowing that it, it didn't go to plan. Um, but, yeah, it just it was definitely a heavy amount of fear. Like I had my young fella with me who's six. Oh, shit. You know, like he didn't see it, thank, thank God, but... Um, because the way their locker room is, like the locker room was upstairs and he was up there with the other workers while I was in the ring. Um, so he didn't see it happen. He just, he only knew about it because they drove him to a hospital oh, and, then he came, and then he came in and seen me, um, which probably wasn't the best for him. He was He was off for a couple of weeks after that until I went and seen him. So like, he's all good now, but... I'm so sorry, yeah. man. Yeah, that's terrible. Like it, it's it's one thing like to go through something like that, but to have like like your kid with you as well, like that would that would be even like more emotionally like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like as a parent, like uh, I can sort of like understand, like because you know, you know what I mean? Like as a dad, you want to be Superman to your kids, right? Like yeah. You know, like you know what I mean you want to be that hero like and especially being like the fact that you can go out there and like dad's a pro wrestler man you know what I mean like that's the sort of shit that really sort of um you know makes those kids you know even more proud and stuff of, of what you oh, do bro but um definitely yeah, like, as a, as a dad, like you want to be that superman for the, for the for the kids bro yeah and he loved coming to watch me wrestle and stuff like he he was there when I won my first championship and he loved it. Like when I walked out to the crowd with the belt and he lost his mind. He thought it was the coolest thing ever. But <laughs> that dad had this big shiny thing, but yeah, no, definitely that, that also ran through my head. That was the first thing I said to one of the boys when they come to check on me was make sure he stays upstairs. Mm. Don't, don't bring him down to see me laying like this because he will freak out. Like he's That's he's cool. got autism, he's got autism as well. So, oh shit! Like, yeah. If he come down and see me laying laying there and not moving, like oh he's yeah, all, yeah, I definitely Reg- didn't regardless like any six year old like with autism or not like with autism it's like a next level, but it's like any six year old would be like freaked out like. You know what I mean? That's such a young age. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think any kid, like, regardless, like, I think even at my yeah. age, if you look out and saw my dad laying there like that, you know, it's it's anyone you care about, especially your parent. But, mate, that's rough. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, no, that's all good. Like, he's he's fine now. Like, I had him again. My partner come and stayed with me last weekend, like the weekend of my charity show. Oh, so I could have him 
I could have him Friday night because I at the moment I can't really have him overnight on my own. Yeah. Due to, there's a lot of things I still can't quite do. Um, but yeah, she came out and I had him overnight and he's back to normal now. Like he just thinks I'm fine. He's still trying to rough me up when he could. <laughs> That's good, man. That's good to hear, bro. Yeah. But um, like with, with the incident that went down, like, like what, what like walk me through it because I, I I saw the incident and as I said to you, bro, and, and 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 one of the things that we talked about backstage is like it, it, it got set up, like it, you you went up for it, but it's like it's almost like you didn't have a real enough time to tuck your chin and, and really get ready for what was coming. Like, you know, that vertebrae move had, have you ta- like, had you taken a move like that before, bro? So I'd, I'd never taken a vertebrae before, but obviously like I've seen it and I was, I was confident in my ability to do it, like to, to get myself into the right position. Um, I watched Cobra do it on someone that day because he'd done it to show me. Um, and after watching it, I was like, yeah, I'm, I, I can do that. And, um, see the difference between when he showed me to, when he done it to me was when he showed me, um, he didn't go as quick. Like he got all, he got old mate up and held him up for a minute and old mate had time to adjust to where he was, like where he needed to be. Um, the incident he didn't really give me any time but he it was just very rushed mm. um if i'd had the time to adjust myself we probably wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation um mm. it, it was just very rushed um i'm not sure if he panicked thinking that i wasn't going going to get to where i needed to be and he just sort of went to try and salvage it or anything but it, like it just it didn't feel right from the get-go like because we we'd done it earlier in the night too like but the first one i floated over like under my feet and it felt fine then like it, it his positioning was better whereas when he went for it where it was actually going to be the finish his positioning was different like it was he wasn't he's head wasn't in the same spot like so when he'd done it for me to float over his head was sort of more like between my legs where i would have been you know straight on back on back like that whereas when yeah, yeah. he lifted to hit it i was more off to the side so it was harder for me to adjust my position my positioning Did- but then i didn't have the time to do that anyway like hindsight being 2020 like looking back at it now like if, if if someone was to say to you to do a move that you hadn't done at training before would you still do it no no um well, so that was probably the harshest way to learn that lesson um yeah like it's it's not just ended my career it's it's, it's changed how i can how i'm gonna live the rest of my life like i'm only 28 and I've still got forty odd years of work left that I have to do. Hundred percent.